Morning guys, welcome to a very dark gloomy day here at um, Premier Inn Terminal 4 uh, Heathrow Airport. We're up. Morning! <laughs> so, I don't know how I'm this lively at 5 in the no. morning. But... We both went to bed about 10 a.m. 10 p.m. last night and we got up at half four this morning. Jess was up at three, wasn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so it's now coming up to uh, quarter to five and we've got to leave now and make our way over to Terminal 3. So Jess is getting the shoes on. Um, we just got to do a last few bits here. As you can see, there's a few bits on the bed that we need to put away. And then we were getting our bus over to Terminal 3. I uh, just want to say that um, originally, we, when we booked these flights, we booked them uh, through, is it KLM? Yeah. Yeah, it was with KLM. And it was a connecting flight from Heathrow to Amsterdam, from Amsterdam then to New York. Uh, but at the weekend, uh, we got an email saying that our flight had been cancelled and they're working hard to try and get us another flight. Now, we didn't know that obviously at the time, so we booked the lounge for 7am here at Terminal 3, uh, number one lounge. Obviously the flight, <laughs> obviously the flight was cancelled and they put us on another flight. Now this flight now, we're going with Virgin and it's at 12.35pm and it's going direct to New York. So now we don't need the lounge so early. But we've tried to call them, we've been on the phone to them, I've been trying, Jess has been trying about two or three times a day since Saturday. We've written two emails to them to try and get through and ask them can we cancel it and move it to about eight o'clock, half eight. But we're just not getting any luck. So in order to and ensure that we don't lose this lounge, because even though we get it free of our bank, it's still... You know, it's still a nice little luxury to have on the holiday, so to ensure we don't lose it, we're still going to go over to Terminal 3 as if we was collect, uh, connecting and collecting that flyer at to go to Amsterdam, if, if that makes sense. So we're still going to go over there earlier, even though our flight's later now, we're still going to go over there a little bit earlier to hopefully get into the airport lounge for seven, uh, and then we'll have a couple of hours in there getting breakfast. Are you hungry? I'm starving. I just want to say hi Colin as well from Twitter. We just wanted to say hello oh, yeah. said we would. Yeah. Hi Colin. And also I just want to show you, uh, it would be best to take you into the bathroom with me, this hoodie. So now Jess got this hoodie for me for my birthday because obviously we was always planning to go to New York at December but obviously that fell through. But Jess got this hoodie for my, for my birthday and I believe she got it from Tesco and I think it was about £20 but with the staff discount and some other promotional offers that they had on at the time, I think you only paid about a tenner for it, didn't you? I think so. So I'm wearing this today, it's the first time I've worn it. I mean, I? Jess has got her one on. I got this gifted from Nike, didn't yes. I? About... You've done the research, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. yeah, very nice. Very nice, give us a 12. Very yeah. warm, very lacy. I don't know whether it's still in stock, but it ain't cheap. No, it wasn't yeah. cheap. It'll be nice and snug. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, going back to my one. So yeah, if you do want this, or you like it, I mean, I love it. I mean, I've only had it around 10 minutes, but already. Yeah, but yeah, I do believe Jess got it from Tesco and it was £20, but she got it for about 10, 11 quid. But I'm in love with it already. So, and it's a bag, it's baggy, it's a little bit baggy and that's what I want. You want a nice, thick, warm, you know, baggy hoodie if, if you're going to New York, especially in this weather. Cool. Don't you? Yep. Anyway, I'll turn you around now. Anyway, time's getting on now and we need to get going. Jess is just finishing off with her last bits of hair. You I don't know why I bothered Kale yeah. in it, but I just wanted to feel nice. You look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel it, I feel yeah. tired. So yeah, as I was saying, time's getting on. Oh, oh that's the alarm's tell us to get a move on. Yeah, where is your alarm? In the back, I'll sort it. Yeah. 
So anyway, yeah, we're going to get going now and we'll probably see you next at Bad Drop because was, even though we checked in yesterday uh, online, we still need to go and obviously check our bags in. So you probably will see us next at Bad Drop. Obviously, we can't record through security for obviously security reasons. And then hopefully we should be able to get into our lounge at seven if we're allowed to. And then um, obviously we'll show you around the lounge and what's on offer there. So we'll see you for now. Bye, room. You've been brilliant. So for anyone that was wondering why we're in room 295 on level 2. Right. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I don't want to huh? Yeah, we have to check out still. You can go right down if you want. No, no, I'll come up with you. I like to get a, a shot of the reception anyway. So I don't think I've done that yet. Vlogger life. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Go to New York. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Everyone's so polite here, aren't they? Yeah. Hey, do you want to do a shout out to the lady yesterday on reception who said she wanted I to be? I can't remember her name. Is it Liana? No. no. We'll, we'll do it in a we'll second. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, dark down here, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Oh. No, it's not too bad actually. Oh, Jess, do you want to just tell people what we're doing, what the plan is now, what we've got to do? We're going to get the bus to Heathrow Terminal 5. And then get the train. Then Express over to Tahitra Terminal 3, yeah. And then we're going to drop our bags off if we can, yeah. If not, we'll probably just sit in Costa for a little bit, yeah. And it's not Heathrow Express, I think it's just called the free shuttle, free shuttle or Heathrow yeah. Express. I don't know, yeah. We'll find out, yep. Yeah. Let's go, yeah. Oh, that's easy, isn't it? I can't believe I'm so awake at 4 40 in the, in the morning. I think it's because though we're going to. Uh, we're going to yeah, we're going to new, the concrete jungle. <laughs> yeah, where dreams are made of. Yeah. Right. Let's go and get this bus. So just to show you as reference, just in case you are staying at this Premier Inn uh, anytime soon. So as you can see, that's the hotel that we stayed in. And if you come out reception and walk up the ramp and along this path, you will come to this bus stop here, as Jessica is modelling. <laughs> and. There are two buses you can get and this road is called Sheffield Way and you can either get the 482 or the 490 and both of these will go straight to Terminal 5 and then we can get the train back to Terminal 3. It is a long way about doing it but for some reason just you cannot get anywhere on Terminal 4 at the moment. I think it's because obviously the terminal is shut so that's why obviously it makes sense that the train's not running from there or to there. But yeah, so as I was saying this is Sheffield Way and that's the hotel so if you are staying here in the next couple of weeks or for the foreseeable then at least you know now how you get to terminal or the terminals so while we're at the bus stop waiting for the bus i thought i'd just show you the bus timetable for the 482 just in case you are staying around here and need to get to terminal 5 or any of the other terminals so i'm sure you can pause it where you need to pause it And this is 482 bus. You've also got the option of the 490 or the 490. And again, that's, this goes to Terminal 5 as well. And here is the times. Hi, Zarina from Heathrow Premier in Terminal 4. We just wanted to say congratulations on your job at head office with Premier in and thank you for an amazing stay and being so accommodating last night.
The next station is Heathrow Central for terminals 2 and 3. Our final stop will be London Paddington. We're here. That's the famous shot, isn't it? <laughs> Woohoo! Stuffy face and all your dying too. Now you've got to eat. What do you think of the food? What did you get? I could have bacon. Yeah. And a sausage, but it's good. And egg and potato top. Yeah. <laughs> Whilst Wayne is stuffing his face with his second breakfast, I'm going to go on a little walk and show you what Duty Free has to offer.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. So we've just left the airport lounge. Uh, we've got about an hour till we find out our gate. So we're just going to go to Boots, aren't we? Yeah. And just get some water and magazines and then find a seat in front of the departure board and wait for our gate to open. I was getting like glued to my seat. Yeah. I was getting like agitated and I needed to move. <laughs> so, yeah, so we've left there. We, we had about 3 hours and 20 minutes in there. Yeah. So we had more than what we should have done, shouldn't we? But yeah, it was lovely. Yeah, was really so nice. thank you very much, number one lounge. I had two, one too many mimosas and I'm feeling a bit blue. Yeah. But thank you very much. It's been a lovely stay. Thank you. <laughs> so the gate has just been announced and we are, as you can see, gate 40. So we can go to gate now. That was about 10 minutes earlier than planned, but that's okay with us. So we're going to make our way down to the gate now. Gate 40. Yep. Probably got to walk half a mile. No, you've got to walk half the way to New York to get to the gate, haven't you? Yeah, I did want to say. I got through okay, yeah. and yeah. I've got the medicine in here. Yep. I just needed to make sure I've got a fit to fly from the We doctor. need a yeah, note just to say. Sorted it for us, yeah. and now we're going to the flight. Woo -hoo. Woo. <laughs> we're not sure if this is the plane that we're going to be on, but this one is the red valve bit. Wayne's a bit of a numpty because that's the plane for gate 25. Yeah, I know, but it's still a bit of plane action. We've not had any of that recently. Come on! <laughs> We find How <laughs> easy was that? That was dead, dead easy that was. I thought that'd be a lot harder that would, but that's brilliant. We can finally say now. Yeah, we're going holiday. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Those are not you choose this. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi, there you are. Perfect. Let me just the first half we've done. Hey, yeah. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it feels good to be on a plane, doesn't it? Oh, I'm gonna feel so <laughs> Right, so you're in 70? C. 70 C and I'm in 70 D. Yeah. So we've finally made it onto the plane. As you can see, we've got more than enough leg room. How are you feeling? Good. You're good, yeah? You've got enough leg room? Yeah. Yeah. Really hot and yeah. So we've just been told by the stewardess that this flight normally carries about 300 people, but today there's only 95. So there's going to be more than enough room for space, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. So on board this Virgin plane to New York City, this is an economy classic seat. And in front of you, you have a fairly good sized television. You have a USB port and an auxiliary port for your headphones if you want to watch any films. You also have an extra USB port. There is a tray table in front of you for your dinner. And you also have a COVID pack. And inside it says that it has face masks, hand sanitising gel, disinfectant wipes and a personal disposal bag. And then Wayne has also shown you that it comes with a blanket and a pillow. <laughs> oh, and some headphones. And some headphones as well. And there's I think 31 inch leg room. Yes. Yeah. For anyone interested, we are at the back of the plane in seats 70D and 70 C. C. <laughs> you getting comfy? Yo, oh, yes. <laughs> and you have to have your mask on, like Wayne showing yeah. you, with your nose pinched. And they advise you to change your mask every four hours. Yes, yeah. And we've got them, haven't we? We've yes. got them, yeah.
film, and we'd like you to give it your full attention. It's really important that you watch and understand it, because together we're all responsible for safety on this flight. In an emergency. If you have any questions after watching, ask them. dinner today I have gone for the chicken pasta with roasted butternut squash it comes with a salted caramel with chocolate ganache crackers and some cheese and I've also got two lemonades and uh, a lot ice and a slice and Jess you've also got the same haven't you? Yeah. Tuck in Inside, I think it's just a roll and a scone, and we've also got a tea. So, after opening the box up, we have got a cheese and tomato uh, roll and tissue, and we've also got a scone, cream, and jam. Disembarked, and then somebody will be able to assist you. 
Well, it really has been a pleasure to have you on board this afternoon. Wherever you're going, have a safe journey, and we do look forward to welcoming you back on board again soon. So for now, until next time, thank you and good afternoon. <laughs> First day at school. Yeah. That's how the other half live, isn't it? This is just premium. I know, but it's still better than our one, isn't it? It's how the other half live anyway. It's a lot more room, yeah. Yeah. We'll get this. Yeah, we will. One day. As long as I'm on the plane, I don't really care to be honest, do you? Yeah. As long as I'm on the plane, I don't really care. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> we finally made it. Woo! <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Steady? Yeah. Let's go. NYC hoodie gone? <laughs> yeah. So we need to follow the signs now for the air train. Federal law requires wearing a mask at all times while at the airport. Do not find the escalator. So we are in Terminal 4 and we have to get the train all the way around to Howard Beach. Going on the subway? No. no. Subway, here we come. <laughs> yeah, just feels weird, doesn't it? It just doesn't feel right. I think we, it's like I need a slap or something. Isn't it? Just to wake me up a bit and say that we're in America. Yeah. I think it's just because we're tired, don't you? Face up. here as you can see and we've got to follow the blue line all the way 
across here. All the way up to Port Authority and then it's about a million or two million walk away from our hotel. So we need to head towards Brooklyn and Manhattan now. I don't think so. Yep. Uh, not too bad at the moment, no. I'll go on this one now. We're here now. Thank you. This is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. oh, this is oh, and we've got a lovely view by the looks oh of it. Oh Pull back that curtain. <gasps> oh wow. Oh, Oh, Jesus. Wow. Sorry, did I bang into you? Yeah. Oh my God, look at that. I'm just zooming in now so they can see. Oh, that is a beautiful view to wake up to every morning, and isn't it? And guess what else we got given? And let me zoom out again because otherwise it's going to be all nose. We got given a better room yeah. with a view and they've given us free breakfast. Woohoo! I'm not sure if it's in, for the whole entirety. I think it's just one day. I, I think, think, you know, he's given us quite a few vouchers there. Yeah. We're not sure it's for the whole uh, stay or it could be for a couple we of days. We nearly didn't get in. So yeah. if you're staying at the Double Tree Hilton Ooh. by yeah. Hilton, West Time, 40th Street. West 40th Street make sure you have a card with money on it because we wanted to pay cash but we can pay cash on the last day yeah so we've had to hold it we've had to hold it on a card haven't we and yeah. then pay cash on the last day but well, we hope otherwise wayne's not eating for the rest yeah of the month. but <laughs> i the one tower? i believe that is, is the one no that is the one tower oh my god that is insane it's not every day you wake up to those views is it <sighs> how lucky are we uh, very lucky. Alright, let's turn it around so everyone can see our beautiful faces. <laughs> We've made it! Woo! We are so tired. Oh. Well, we're gonna... We're so tired. Oh. And we stink. Yeah, we stink. <laughs> we're gonna do a room tour for you in a minute. Yeah. So if you'd like to watch that room tour, click in the description box below and there'll be a link for that. It's probably not gonna go up maybe for a few more days yeah. but i'll put the link in there anyway so you know where to find it if it's not in there i do apologize but i'll write a note on the screen if it's going to be up tonight hmm. so we'll see you in a bit caught ya <laughs> i thought we'd save them for later well no don't go inside oh yeah well i'm gonna have my one i think uh, my one's sitting on the bed here i'm gonna eat that and i think we're gonna probably put a brew on yeah yeah Just, hopefully we're gonna yeah. work it. and then we're going out yeah okay. so Wayne's going to fill you in now with whatever he's got to tell you. I'm making a cookie. So as you've just seen, oh, lighting's a bit bad. So as you've just seen, we're finally checked into our hotel. Jess has done a separate room to us, so don't forget to check that out. I've just popped on just to say, um, if you're thinking or you're wanting to go on holiday, but you're a little bit apprehensive about the current changes and everything that's going on in the world and the constant changes and the testing and the forms then 
don't be afraid. Um, me and Jess were a little bit apprehensive before this trip, thinking that we were going to forget something. But if you follow the .gov website, if you're from the UK, and follow the airline advice, and obviously for American friends, if you follow the CDC and the airlines, it tells you everything that you need to do. So really, really read that thoroughly and follow the steps and you'll be fine. Uh, me, like I said, me and Jess were quite worried beforehand at the weekend thinking that we'd forgot something, we'd not done something. But we've done everything that we needed to do, it was fine. We had one little lit cup at uh, Heathrow. Jess did mention to it earlier, but I'm not sure if you heard because there was a tunnel in the back. So when we got to drop our bags off at Virgin, uh, because we've told them previously or um, then we notified them that just has some sort of special like conditions they wanted to know if we had a doctor's letter to let up to show them to prove that Jessica was fit enough to fly now Jess had corresponded with them in an email a few days before but we wasn't aware they wanted a letter from a GP or a nurse just to ex explain that Jessica is fit enough to fly uh, so we had to go to another desk where Chris helped us so thank you very much Chris he filled in a form got Jess to put an email address and telephone number in there and then he made a call we're not sure who he called but after about five minutes he came back to us and said that we're as fit enough Jess can go and that was it so we got to the lounge obviously spent enough time in the lounge and then we got here and it's been absolutely fantastic there's been no hiccups since so really really do think about coming and traveling i know it's strange times and i know they're constantly changing but we really really me and jess are really avid travelers and we try and travel as much as we can and we hate to think that there's people out there that can't and they're scared and they don't want to do it because they're not sure of all the restrictions and the rules and i admit it is scary but once you've done it it's fine isn't it Jace it's brilliant yeah. isn't it it's absolutely brilliant um, well I do want to shout out to the staff on the Virgin flight because they were absolutely brilliant they couldn't do enough for us there was a of Jessica they kept checking on her every few minutes making sure she was okay they kept offering us drinks there was up and down those aisles they must have probably walked to New York and back the times that they walked down the aisles wasn't they yeah. hot drinks and everything so thank you very much meals snacks you want it they gave it to us we've got some alcohol and god knows what really polite they couldn't do enough for us luckily our flight was only um half full so obviously they had a bit more time to sort of interact with us but we had a laugh and a joke and they was asking us questions so thank you very much i didn't get all of your names i do believe there's one called nikki and i think there was one called emma i apologies if um, i've missed anyone out but they're the two that i remember at the moment um I also want to let you know, and this is something that I've always been interested in, there was internet or Wi-Fi available on our flight. Now, um, we didn't use it, but I went and followed the steps uh, before and obviously purchasing the internet. But I did take a screenshot of the pricing list, so I'm going to get Jess to use her editing skills and put a picture just there with the price list in, uh, so you can see. Now, it's not for everyone, but when me and Jess are watching like these kind of vlogs, we're always interested to know these certain things, so I thought I'll take a screenshot and obviously insert it there, just in case you are on a Virgin flight and you are looking to get some internet, and now you know the prices. Right, now we're going to chill for the next hour. We do want to freshen up a little bit because we've been awake for about 28 hours or something we need to um, recharge the batteries and our batteries as well uh, we need to transfer some of our previous recordings that we've done so far onto our hard drives so we can free up the memory and then I think we're going to hit Times Square so we're going to see you in a few minutes in Times Square so while Jessica is in the bathroom having a shower I've taken the opportunity to turn all the lights off and show you this amazing view that we have got look at that guys how lucky are we at the moment we always said we wanted a room with you and to be honest it's making me a little bit sick looking down there so apologies if you suffer with uh, vertigo or scared of heights maybe not look down there because it's making me a bit scared as it is over the back there uh, you can see the Hudson uh, it was a little bit lighter earlier when we was in you could see it just a little bit of water and um, I think Jess has already showed you this, but right over the back there as well, as you can see, I'll zoom in. It looks so much bigger in the flesh when you're here, but there's the Freedom Tower. And now I'm going to have to go because I'm feeling a little bit nauseous because it, 
I feel like I'm gonna fall off. So I'm gonna go now, but I thought I'd just take that opportunity of just being in the shower, just to show you this amazing view. What a view, eh? What a view to wake up to. I'll also show you in the morning as well at some point, just so you can see in comparison tonight. So a quick little money hack, just in case you want to save a bit of money whilst in the city or anywhere really. So what me and Jess normally do is when we're on a flight, normally to America, what we do is we order, and these are free by the way, order like a vodka and lemonade. Now we mean just they normally just drink the lemonade and we keep these little bottles because we don't see the point of drinking on the plane. It just doesn't make sense to me unless we're going to hit the club straight off the terminal we don't see the point so what we do is keep them like this as you can see and then we just drink the lemonade or the coke or the fan or any th other fizzy drinks that you want to have it as a mixer and we keep them the the alcohol and then drink their mixers uh, we've also kept some mixers as well so we've kept these now so then one night maybe when we decide to go out and maybe have a, a few drinks we can have a pre-drink and this has cost us absolutely nothing. So, you know, these go for, what, three, four pound a bottle, some of these things, depending on where you get them. So we've got a good hack there, basically. I mean, we're not saying that everyone's got to do it and you might think it's wrong. It's up to you, really, it's each to their own. But me and Jess have been doing this for years. Uh, we've had no problems with it. It's a good little tip, especially when you're on a budget like we are. So yeah, you, you like it as well, don't you, Jess? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's a little saver for you, so you can maybe save a few bucks whilst you're in America. So Jess, are you all ready for the streets of New York? I've got my lippy on, my hair's done, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> I look like a right tourist, yeah. don't Times I? Times Square, here we come. Times Square, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, we've made it to Times Square. <laughs> can't believe it, can you? I'm so excited, I actually can't been, believe it. It's been way too, uh, way too long, isn't it? Was it been about three years? Yeah, three years. Yeah. We've just took some irritating Instagram shots down there. Yeah, well you have. Well, I yeah. persuaded some like professional photographer guy to do it, which is really nice of him, and he got a cracking shot. This one just here. Yeah. <laughs> which is probably already been up on the Instagram getting thousands mm -hmm. of likes, no joking. We don't know what we're going to do tonight, we're no. just going to take it well, all it's in. It's definitely going to involve food though, isn't it? We'll lift the camera up and just show them all of that. Oh, I'll do that in a second, we'll yeah. We'll give you a review of it in a minute, but we just, yeah, we're so grateful, aren't yeah. we, for, but yeah. We just can't believe it, we still have to sort of pinch ourselves that we're back here again, don't we? Pinch your cheeks. Yeah. But anyway, we're not sure what the plan is tonight. We'll Can I say something? We're vlogging in New York yeah. City. Did we ever think we'd no. do this? But Our as I was saying, have officially come true tonight. Sorry, I'm all over the place. So, yeah, so the plan is, we haven't got a plan. No. Um, we're definitely going to go and get some food, aren't we? Yeah. And then we're just going to see where the night takes us, aren't we? Yeah. Yep, so. Listen to those sounds, is that? Just listen to that. The sound of beauty. But yeah, <laughs> so I'm just going to spin around now and show you what uh, Times Square is like. Bye. Bye. So, what's the next step? Food. Taking some photos on set. Yep, and then some food. Do you reckon we'll ever get one of our Holiday with the Heavers videos up on those screens? No? About it. Dream big. Mm -hmm. We never thought we'd be vlogging in New York City. Yeah, no, that's true. Okay. Right, I was going to get some food because I'm getting angry. We'll see you in one of the um, restaurants. Yeah. Your teeth light up the whole uh, New York City. Are they really white? Yeah, that white, yeah. I just love this place. And do you know what I love even more? What's that? Those golden arches. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you do when you travel for about 23 hours, or well, been up 23 hours, starving hungry, and on a budget? Where do you eat? McDonald's. McDonald's it is. We yeah. fancy some double cheeseburgers, don't we? Yeah. So that's where we're going to go. I know it's cheap, I know it's boring, 
but we're hungry and you just can't decide. No. We've got loads of places you want to eat, but yeah. we just can't decide. So, so McDonald's yeah. it is. And I'm feeling quite confident that both the vlog and people keep looking at us, but it's yeah. rare, it's the norm. Everyone's doing yeah, TikTok everyone's dances, doing yeah. everyone's taking selfies, so yeah. We just fit in with the locals, well, the tourists, sorry. We're not tourists, it's not <laughs> Right, come on. Right, let's go and get some food. So if you've been to New York before, you can see McDonald's has had a facelift. Not only has it had a facelift, but it's actually moved. So now it's next door to Old Navy, which is just there. Now it used to be by the Red Steps. Uh, that's been uh, closed down now. It's now a football shop or a soccer shop. Um, I'm not sure why it's moved. Maybe it's a bigger premises. I don't know, but just if you're coming to New York, you might want to make yourself aware that McDonald's has had a facelift and it's moved. Shall we go in? Yes, please. Yep. <laughs> I am definitely getting that deal now. Definitely. So we've just got back to the hotel room. We've had an amazing first day in New York. We're actually gonna go to bed now because we've been up for a total of possibly 26 hours. So we are both flagging really bad. But we are finishing today on a high note. So I'm just gonna spin the camera around and show you what Wayne's got that we are going to demolish in a minute. Duh. These are your $1 pizzas. Well, we thought they were we $1. We thought they were. It turns out only the cheese ones are one dollar. The others are like two dollars, but even then, that's not too bad. It's is still it? only like seven dollars yeah. for that and the can. Yeah, I need to get these shoes off because I think that's the main thing that's worrying us. Oh, bothering us, isn't it? We've got sore feet. We've had our shoes on for like twenty-six hours, so we just need to unwind and chill. We just relax, don't we? Yeah. So. Right. We will see you tomorrow for day two of our NYC vlogs. Bye. Bye.